HPE's own object storage solution has been rumored for a long time, and now it's official. HPE just announced HPE Allegro Storage MP X10000, and this is big. For the very first time, the entire object storage appliance, hardware and software, is 100% homegrown. To me, this is much more than just a new storage system. Let's talk about it. Hi, it is Markus here again. If you are new to the channel, welcome. This is where we talk about enterprise IT from on-prem to cloud, firmware to artificial intelligence. If that's your kind of thing, hit the subscribe button. There's a lot to talk about, so I've split this video in seven important things to know about HPE Allegro Storage MP X10000. Let's begin. Today at HPE Discover Barcelona 2024, Antonio Neri announced a completely new data storage solution, offering object storage at launch. HPE also claims that it delivers much faster performance than the competition. They call this newcomer HPE Aletra Storage MP X10000. Now, that's an exhaustingly long name, so I'm just gonna call it from now on X10000. For the very first time, HPE now has their own object storage solution in their portfolio. So far, HPE has relied on OEMing unstructured storage solutions from partners like Bass Data, Cumulo, Scality, and Vega. Though the X10000 will not replace those partner solutions, but more on that a bit later. As usual, the X10000 features will be released in waves. At launch, the X10000 will support object storage with 3 to 8 nodes and 1 to 8 JBOFs, providing between 100 terabytes and 6 petabytes of capacity. While HP officially announced only <laughs> object storage today, I am still expecting them to introduce support for file storage soon. Now, why do I think that? I'll tell you in a bit. And by the way, you do not have to wait to get yours. The X10000 is generally available today. So let's dig deeper into X10000, starting with the hardware platform. As the name HPE Allegro Storage MP X10000 states, this new unstructured storage solution is based on HPE Allegro Storage MP. With the introduction of X10000, HPE is delivering on their vision to provide multiple storage services built on a single disaggregated architecture. A while back, I made a whole video about HPE Aletra Storage MP. In that video, I called it the future of storage. And for a reason. Its simple design allows for any data storage solution, from entry to high-end, block, file and object, to run on this one platform, removing hardware configuration and performance limitations that traditional arrays are burdened with. No more proprietary hardware for entry block, mid-range block, high-end block, file, object, well, you get the picture. With HPE Allegro Storage MP, hardware is always the same. Software defines the functionality. This is the purest definition of software-defined storage. And that's why I still believe this is the future of storage. And eventually, this is how all vendors will implement their storage systems. So it is a no-brainer for HPE to use Aletra MP as the hardware platform for the new X10000. Taking a look under the hood reveals that the X10000's operating system is based on Kubernetes containers. What this means is that all data personas will always run as containers. In other words, natively at the lowest possible level, as equal citizens, providing maximum performance no matter the data type. See, many competing solutions have built file persona on top of object or vice versa. Hence, the two personas are not equal. Whichever is not native will suffer a performance penalty. The situation is fundamentally different with the X10000. Now, let's remember that only object storage was announced today, but it doesn't take a rocket scientist to see where they are going with this. I would be very surprised if HP would miss this golden opportunity and didn't introduce the file storage persona on the X10000 somewhere in the very near future. 
So why did HP decide to build their own object storage solution and not just rely on their existing partners for unstructured storage? Well, let's start by reiterating my point on Aletra MP. I believe that HP wants all their storage consolidated on the Aletra MP platform. So far, there's been two solutions, one for block and one for file storage. While they are both based on Aletra MP hardware, they are separate solutions that run on their own dedicated Aletra MP hardware. However, only the block storage software is 100% HPE's own IP, while the file storage software is actually vast data. If you ask me, vast data platform is one of the most sophisticated file and object storage platforms on the market, especially with the latest AI features unveiled at their recent Cosmos event. By the way, check out my LinkedIn hot take of Vast Data Cosmos event from the links down below. Vast is undeniably awesome. So why then not just continue partnering up with them for file and object? First of all, they will. Vast will continue to be an important partner for HPE. But at the same time, it is rather clear to me at this point that HP wants to have the whole spectrum of enterprise technologies in their portfolio, from networking, to storage, to compute, to cloud, to security, to backup, to management, to services. They want to be able to offer total and complete enterprise solutions in-house. And that's why they have bought OpsRamp, Morpheus Data, Juniper, and many others to fill the gaps in their portfolio. Okay, so then why not just buy Vast Data too? Well, <laughs> there are approximately 9.1 billion reasons for that. After Morpheus Data and Juniper Networks, I think the price is just too steep. So from this perspective, the best option was to DIY. By no means HPE is the only one offering modern high-speed object storage. In fact, HPE is actually quite late to the party. There are lots of object storage solutions on the market. However, HPE claims that the X10000 is highly differentiated from file-centric solutions like NetApp, capacity-oriented object solutions like Scality, and high-speed flash storage solutions like Pure Storage, which to me sounds rather fair to say. But how about Dell, Vast Data, and Cumulo then? Well, first of all, both Dell PowerScale and Cumulo have built object persona on top of their file storage services, which, as discussed, might not be optimal for performance-conscious customers. Vast Data is perhaps the closest competitor to the X10,000. In fact, the X10,000 looks a lot like Vast Data Platform, from its disaggregated scale-out and shared everything design to the expected native support for both file and object storage. On paper, that is, at least. But it's worth remembering that Vast Data and HPE are two very different companies. While Vast Data is a storage software company that has a singular focus on excelling in one narrow niche, HPE, on the other hand, is a provider of comprehensive enterprise IT solutions that offers virtually everything from infrastructure to software to services from their own portfolio. For this reason, I don't expect the X10,000 to outperform or even match Vast Data's capabilities. But the X10,000 will surely be a good solution for many customers. And for the rest of them, there's HPE GreenLake for file storage that's built on Vast Data Platform, and also, of course, other storage partner solutions. So what's HPE's grand plan with this then? Will the X10,000 eventually replace Vast Data and other OEM partners? Now, as mentioned at launch, the X10,000 will support object storage only, and compared to the likes of Vast Data and Scality, the X10,000's capabilities are limited. So for that reason, the X10,000 will not be replacing Vast Data, Cumulo, Scality, Weka, and other HPE storage partners anytime soon, if ever. The X10,000 will be offered as a standalone storage product, and officially, that's that. But if you ask me, I'm sure HPE would love to see X10,000 become the default storage platform for Esmeral and private cloud AI at some point. But that's just simply not possible yet. It will take some time for the X10,000 to mature in capabilities. Oh, by the way, while the X10,000 comes as an appliance at first, 
bundled with the Aletra MP hardware, it is still 100% the software solution. So it can be used with any hardware, or cloud for that matter. In fact, I would not be surprised if HPE would introduce X10,000 availability on AWS, Google Cloud, or Azure rather sooner than later. Interesting, right? All this is awesome, <laughs> but as I mentioned in the very beginning, to me, this is more than just HPE's first unstructured storage system. Let me explain. As complete as HPE's enterprise IT portfolio has already been, maybe the most complete on the market even, their name has still been missing from one core area, and that's unstructured data, i.e. file and object storage. As discussed, this doesn't mean that HP hasn't been offering unstructured storage solutions. Actually, quite on the contrary, it has been partnering with the unstructured data household names like Cumulo, Scality, Vast Data, and Weka for these capabilities. In addition to Cumulo, Scality, Vast, and Weka, Gardner Magic Quadrant for file and object storage has been dominated by Dell, Pure Storage, IBM, and NetApp. With this announcement, HPE will finally have a seat in that table too. The X10,000 fills a big gap in HPE's portfolio and gets them that much closer to owning IP to every single piece of the complete enterprise IT solutions that they are offering. And that makes HPE a more appealing partner for anyone who's looking for a provider of complete enterprise IT solutions. And being able to offer complete solutions is ever more important in this as-a-service world. That's it, I'm out. If you liked the video, hit the like, and if you want more of these, subscribe. Until the next time.